Augmented reality, it's not only filters. It is an experience that immerses users and enhances their world. My name is Manuel Borrero, and I am an Augmented Reality Designer. I am based in Los Angeles and I am an immigrant from Venezuela who left home looking for new opportunities. I have loved characters since I was a kid and I always loved to draw them. And AR has allowed me to create them and be one of them in the metaverse without any limits. I can make my own narrative and be anything I wanted to be. During the pandemic, I decided to immerse myself in this fully, and now I can't even imagine my life without AR. I am creating something accessible for the masses, the audience I have never met, and people worldwide. And I can reach them instantly with the power of AR. I am confident that AR is shaping the future, and I am proud to help the world express who they are, one moment at a time. I just uh, played a video for you guys. Well, I'm Manuel. Uh, I'm a mental reality designer. I live in Los Angeles, California. I started AR three years ago. I am from Venezuela. I immigrated to the United States around five years ago. Um, you know, back in my country, I went to med school back over there. So I don't have any background on graphic designer or 3D artist, but I got it started. Uh, a little bit before the pandemic, uh, I always was fascinated by technology and, you know, by all these new um, technologies that are emerging nowadays. And I see that everybody's using and like changing the world. So I always was interested with that. And one day I decided to give it a try and I downloaded Spark AR. And that's how my journey started. And now here I am talking to you guys. So here I am. This is a horse that I did. Um, you know, uh, this one has different five uh, face trackers. So it's tracking five different faces. I did the texture in Procreate. And then I take the, the face uh the formate the face shape that spark ar provide and then i deform the face shape into uh into a horse as you can see here then um uh, i added as a face morph here right and then you got this and then i change the textures then i add the eyes then i add the blinks and i add all the interaction that this has uh, and some of the software that I use was Procreate, Blender. Uh, I use another software that is called, it's called Sculpt GL. That is like probably for people who doesn't have a lot of experience on 3D. For example, me, I am I'm still learning with 3D modeling, but there is this software that is called Sculpt GL that allows to people who doesn't have a lot of experience to have uh, good fears, um, or like an easy, you know, like an easy way out to work with 3D assets. So I use this one for for this because I was rushing. I had this presentation in New York that I went uh, with a Spark AR and Samsung. So I wanted to present something different, but I also was working on my Kino. So I was like, you know, I gotta get, I gotta do something that it looks nice. So I did that over here. Uh, I draw the texture as you can see, um, the horse face. I draw them on Procreate on an iPad, and then I just place all the elements in the scene. Uh, I add the interactions, and now we got a horse, <laughs> pretty much, you know? It's very fun to see people how they can change and they can play with this um, AR experience. They can basically 
have a new persona into the metaverse and you know be whatever they are so i think like that's the the fun part about creating ar effects or like that's what i think is fun for me because i uh like to create all these characters to allow people to be another person or something else or like an alter ego into the metaverse and i think this is very important for us nowadays because whatever you choose to present into the metaverse it's gonna be something that is gonna be characteristic of yourself it's gonna be something that's gonna say okay this is manuel this is uh arturo this is mario this is maria right when you meet these people into the metaverse so that's what i like to create these characters and like it's always fun just to see people using them and like making themselves my effects have like over three billions of impressions across in just one platform which is instagram but i'm like dis diversifying myself and trying other different platforms just to know you know expose myself better but i feel like with the power of ar you can reach out as many people as you want as soon as they have good internet and like a good device on their hands um and it's just in you know it's it's insane the amount of people who use ar just to tell stories and you know they grab these pieces of art that you create and then just use them and then they make a different story and it's just crazy to see all these numbers i think uh ar it's a technology who came and who's gonna stay i think uh we're gonna take a little bit more of time to adapt ourselves to fully immerse ourselves in ar but i think it's something that we use every day in 2022 um i think ar is gonna come to stay because it's a technology that allows you to be present in the real world that's the difference between ar and, um, and vr which is vr you blocking completely the the real world right when you put in the goggles and i think in augmented reality you you enhance um the real world so i think like uh it has a lot of future we use in it every day it's not just fun filters i think people is like uh finding more utility with the use of augmented reality um and i found it fascinating and um when you ask me about what are my plans uh i think learning it's my biggest plan nowadays like as i told you i didn't uh went to school for this uh actually my background is medicine that's what i did but the more i have stayed in a mental reality i found that is where i want to stay because i feel like it's a creative area that i can like put all my ideas together or create something different so for me i think learning more probably like uh, go to school and learn 3d modeling because i think if you want to learn ar or if you want to be in ar somehow it's not necessarily it's not a requirement but you're going to have more success if you know how to manage 3D. I think like 3D is one of the key and fundamental pieces of uh, augmented reality. And also coding, which is something that I'm very interested in learning. So I think that those two pieces um, are key for this. And it's something that I wanna learn more for sure because I always wanna like grow and create more stuff. Um, put more time into my company, as I mentioned, uh, I don't think we went over this, but like I have a company which is called Universe AR, which I founded in 2020 and it's an agency of augmented reality. Uh, I think grow my company, have more, have more people, work with more clients. Um, I've been so fortunate that I've been having amazing clients and I think dream clients. I have the chance to work with Universal Pictures to do all the characters for their movie. I also work with uh, celebrities here in Hollywood, like Sofia Carson. Um, and recently I have, I can't talk about this yet, but like I have this um, big show that reached out to me. It's actually my favorite show 
on TV screen, on TV, uh, sorry, on, on, on subscriptions. Uh, and they just reach out to me asking me if they can license one of my filters. So that's very exciting. I'm like, wow, super excited that this, uh, you know, TV show reached out to me. I can't tell more about it because it's nothing signed yet, but like just the fact that they reach out, that they see my work out there, uh, it just means so much to me. And this is something that I definitely want to put more time on it and like dedicate myself and learn. Um, also, uh, giving to the community, sharing with the community, creating community is something that I'm very interested in. And like, it's something that I probably gonna put more time on it. Learning with the Spark AR, it's uh, an amazing tool that we have nowadays and it's free out there. Uh, reading all the documentation that Spark AR has provide you, it's amazing. I think like when I start, we didn't have all that documentation, so it kind of was hard for me at the beginning to learn. I have to like do a lot of trail and error. I have to like put so much time that I feel like if I have like all the documentation that is nowadays, I could just have read it and learn easy. But now we have it. I think like people who are starting should go there and uh, learn and read the documentation on the Spark AR. Also, uh, going into the Facebook group, I think it's key. Make yourself part of the community. You know, ask in the community, make friends. It's very important uh, because there are things that people don't share. But when you have a community, when you are part of the community, people will be more welcome to share tips and secrets. Also, you will be involved into all the things that Spark AR and Meta are doing to involve creators, to teach creators, right? So that's very important. And, you know, when I learn, I told myself, and I think there is still so many tools for anyone who want to learn nowadays uh, out there. Just use internet, you know, just use Google. There is so many uh, tutorials over there that is Eddie's master class which I think is a diamond in the space that everybody should like look into that course because it's so well done um also follow the biggest creators because you can always get inspired you can always learn from there and you know learn 3d as I told you 3d is one of the keys and fundamental pillars for Augmented reality. I think like learning 3D, it's very important. Um, and if you don't like 3D, then I think like draw is another thing that you should like put some time in practice. Because if you want to do characters that the ones I do, I think drawing is very important for that. Um, and yeah, I think that's all uh, that I can tell you about that learn more or have more questions about this or just want to follow me my handles here it's manu borrero on instagram you can follow me there i'm always posting new stuff you know i'm always um sharing with people i think like uh, i do appreciate the community so if you hear me tonight here and like come here go to my instagram and reach out for sure i'm i always gonna like respond by and yeah thank you you for like reaching out to me and like you know uh thinking about myself and like inviting me over to your podcast i'm so happy to be here